One of the best and evergreen niches on YouTube and TikTok is this geo documentary niche. This niche is not competitive yet. The reason is creating this type of map animation is going to take a lot of effort, time, and animation skill. But I found an easier way to make these animations within just two minutes. If you don't believe me, take a look at this quick example video. What if the alliances you thought you understood were shifting beneath your feet? What if the world's largest democracy stood shoulder to shoulder with the very power the West is trying to isolate? India, America's strategic partner, joining Russia and Belarus in one of the most controversial war games of our time. India stands at a crossroads of power. On one side, billions in trade with the West, a defense partnership with the United States, and shared democratic values. On the other, a reliance on Russian oil, weapons, and a decades-long military relationship impossible to erase overnight. I created that entire animation sequence using AI tools. And while it does take some effort, it's definitely way easier than traditional methods. Look, I'm not gonna tell you this is some secret gold mine because that's BS. But what I will say is that the barrier to entry just got way lower. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the complete process of creating content in this niche. Keep in mind, success varies. This style of content's been gaining serious traction lately. Stick around, because later, I'll show you how I made fighter jets with just one prompt. And at the end, I'll give you my exact animation setup so you can copy it step for step. From my research, this niche covers anything related to global news and world events. The audience is pretty broad since people worldwide are interested in this stuff. I've seen channels in this space getting huge engagement. First thing you need to do is find current topics and create scripts. And here's where most people waste hours scrolling aimlessly through news sites. The most reliable way is following news channels on TikTok since they're posting global news daily. These channels basically do the research for you. They're already identifying what's getting engagement and what people are talking about. You can also use Google Trends to see what's actually trending right now. The key is looking for topics that have staying power, not just flash in the pan news that'll be irrelevant tomorrow. World tensions, border disputes, trade wars, these stories develop over weeks or months, giving you multiple angles to cover. If you're feeling lazy, you can ask ChatGPT for video ideas about current events. Just did this and got 10 topic suggestions in seconds. AI definitely speeds up the brainstorming process, but here's the thing, everyone else is doing this too, so you need to add your own angle. For this example, I'm using the India Joins Russian War Games topic. It's current, it's complex, and it affects millions of people. Plus, there's enough background context to create a compelling narrative. Next step is creating a script. And here's where most people screw up. They think they can just paste ChatGPT's output straight to YouTube. Big mistake. I'll use ChatGPT as a starting point, but here's something important. Don't just copy paste AI scripts directly. YouTube's monetization reviewers can spot AI generated content and it can hurt your chances. The trick is using AI as your research assistant, not your writer. Ask it for key facts, timeline events, different perspectives on the issue. Then you write the script in your own voice, using that research as foundation. Use this prompt to generate a script foundation. Create a documentary style script about topic, including background info, current developments, and potential implications. Focus on factual reporting with engaging storytelling. Then rewrite it completely in your own words. After that, you can use text-to-speech tools like Eleven Labs or Minimax to create voiceovers. Make sure to pick a voice that matches your content's tone. By the way, I have a small group where creators share the exact prompts and workflows they're testing right now. If you don't want to waste weeks guessing niches or testing prompts that flop, I share the exact niches I've personally found success in, plus my copy and paste methods for turning them into profitable channels. You'll also see what other creators inside are using right now to grow their channels. It's optional, but if you don't want to reinvent the wheel, the link's in the description. Here's where it gets interesting creating the actual map animations without needing motion graphic skills. But here's what nobody tells you about AI video tools. They're inconsistent as hell. Traditional animation would take days of work in After Effects, but we're gonna do this in minutes. You'll need two main tools, Flash AI, formerly Nano Banana, and an AI image to video generator like VEO2. These tools aren't perfect, but they're getting better every month. First, you need to understand your script because we're gonna visualize what animations match each part. 
For this India example, I need to show the geographical relationship between India, Belarus, Russia, and America. I used Google Maps for a satellite view of India and the surrounding region. Screenshot that. Make sure you get good resolution because pixelated maps look amateur. Then I uploaded it to Flash AI and asked it to highlight India in red. Here's where things got weird. I also requested a darker theme and a realistic green theme to match the serious tone of the content. Sometimes AI gives you something better than what you asked for, and that's all right. I removed the country labels from the map aside from India. I downloaded both versions, the original clean map and the red highlighted version. Then I went to Google Labs and used VEO2 fast image to video feature. The key is using the original as your starting frame and the red highlighted version as your end frame. My prompt was, zoom in on India on the map. Red color appears in the India area as ink art. Simple prompts work better than complex ones. AI gets confused with too many instructions. Basic animations are cool, but what if you could make it look like a full-blown news broadcast with jets and tanks? That's exactly what I'll show you here. For the next animation sequence, I asked Gemini AI to add a yellow glowing outline around India. Using the same starting slash ending frame process with VEO2, I used the prompt glowing yellow border appears. The result was solid, clean animation that clearly showed the video concept. For more complex scenes, I experimented with different camera angles to get a lower, more dramatic perspective. Overhead shots feel clinical, but angled views create more tension and engagement. Then I added elements like fighter jets, soldier figures, and tanks to create action sequences. This is where the story gets visual. Instead of just talking about military responses, we're showing them. The process involved creating multiple scene variations. First, jets flying over India, then soldier figures marching on India, and tanks appearing from the ground. Each element needs its own animation, then you combine them in editing. I had to try several iterations to get something that looked realistic. My first attempt had jets that moved in weird directions, and missiles that looked like fireworks. The key is being patient and tweaking your prompts until you get quality results. After creating all the necessary clips, I used CapCut to edit everything together. CapCut's free and handles AI-generated content well. For additional visual elements, I generated flags of USA on the left, India in the middle, and Russia on the right with a green screen background. The green background makes it easy to remove later during editing. This is a trick from traditional video production that works perfectly with AI content. I used VEO2 AI to animate these flags. The animation shows flags appearing one by one. Then I imported the video into CapCut. To remove the green background, I used the chroma key feature. Just select the color picker, click the green background, and it disappears automatically. This gives you clean flag animations that you can overlay on any background. The sound effects make a huge difference in these videos. Here's that sound library I mentioned. You can find free options on Pixabay. Search for military drone, jet flyover, alert sirens. The free library is actually pretty good for basic needs. If you want higher quality, check out Epidemic Sounds. Their subscription gives you access to professional sound effects that you won't hear on every other channel. Eleven Labs also has a new AI sound effect generator that creates custom audio, and that's what I'll be using for this example video. You can build your own sound or scroll through audios that were built by others. I added appropriate sound effects to match the action. Jet sounds during the aerial sequences, bomb sounds during the Russia-Ukraine scene, war drums music toward the end. The key is layering sounds without making it overwhelming. That's how you can create geo-documentary content without expensive animation software. The process takes some experimentation. Don't expect perfect results on your first try. Some attempts will look amateur. Others will surprise you with how professional they turn out. Building a successful channel in any niche requires consistent effort, understanding your audience, and improving with each video. This process takes some trial and error, but you don't have to do it alone. If you want the exact workflows I use right now, and you don't want to waste weeks experimenting, I share them all inside my private community. Links in the description if you want in. If not, no worries. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.